Good morning, YouTube Averse. John Sanic from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another day of the great 29 album closers of all time. And we're on day 10, and this is a big one in every sense of the word. The song is. Echoes by Pink Floyd off of 1971's masterpiece Metal. And this is basically 50% of the album. It is all of side B. 23 plus minutes of just awesomeness. Even the section of the song towards the second half that's just like weird like alien noises that David Gilmore is making with his guitar. It's just, uh, it's weird, but it's great. And uh, you know, from the very beginning of this song, you could just see that this had like really was kind of the blueprint of what would be Dark Side of the Moon. You know, Roger Waters himself said this was the first time they started writing about empathy or uh, that theme in general. The harmonies are on point uh, between Gilmore, Wright, and Waters. Just beautiful. And musically, it is just incredible. Mixing blues with rock, with prog, with space rock. Uh, all of it can, in this huge, amazing masterpiece of a song. And I have to say, uh, this I have a theory on this. This predates... The Phantom of the Opera by a couple years. And I think Andrew Lloyd Webber stole the riff from David Gilmore. That dun, 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 dun. Of course, Gilmore's is even a little bit more to it than that, the little walk up after. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I still say that to this day. But obviously, Pink Floyd, one of the most influential bands of all time. And uh, this song, I mean, oh my God, you know, the intro portion, uh, my favorite portion is when it gets, uh, you know, about six, seven minutes in and they start going into that funky, just uh, bluesy realm where they're just, you know, all instrumental, but all amazing. Then of course it goes into the weird alien stuff, comes back with this prog rock interlude and then comes back full circle into the main theme where uh, you're wondering why it's called Echoes, the end of the song. Uh, you know, Waters and uh, Richard Wright are echoing each other, guitar and keyboard. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. I just, I can't say enough about this song. This is actually my favorite Pink Floyd song because of the very reason that it's like, it is the template for what uh, so much of what we love about Pink Floyd would be to come. And it's everything rolled into one. It's just amazing. And you got to have it on your list, guys. So let me know, did you have it on your list? If not, why not? And uh, what's on your list so far? And what do you think's coming tomorrow on day 11? Because, guys, I'm just having a ball with this thing. And I hope you are as well. And if you haven't checked out The Great 28 from last year, check that out as well. We got top fives every Friday, album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.